hello friends welcome to introductions of machine learning in this video we are going to discuss about what is machine learning why machine learning is important and phases of machine learning and its types what is machine learning machine learning algorithm which will take the decision based on the data from the experience like an experienced person in a process will take the decision by its own without delay. Like that machine also can take the decision based on the data experience and statistical pattern. So it will not be following the rule based training to take the decision. Why machine learning is important? Data is increasing day by day as we expected and now it's reached to 41 thousands of exabytes and it will be reached into the zettabytes in future. As a data engineer we can handle the data up to few hundreds of zettabytes and the machines can handle the data up to few thousands of zettabytes with a high level competition power. So it is very difficult if we are going to use more data so that we are moving to machine learning concept to handle a huge size of data with less competition power. Traditional versus machine learning. In traditional way, you are going to provide your data with some logical rules based on that machine can handle and send back the output to you. But in machine learning, you are going to provide your data and expected output. So the machine can train by itself and creating their own rule. So whenever you are going to giving a new data that trained model rules will be applied and will be producing the output. In machine learning, there is a lot of phases available. We just simply giving here. Here a machine takes some trained data and will be cleaned and build a model. So whenever you're passing a new input, the model can predict and send the output. If the output is matched as expected in manual validation, then we can deploy in production. If not, then we retrain a model again and the cycle phases will be start from 2. As a machine learning developer, they are going to develop a model, they are using this kind of keywords only. So we are going to discuss that. Labels or target variable, which is nothing but that what you are going to predict it. So like I have provided some examples here, the price of beats in the future and kind of animals shown in a picture and the meaning of an audio clip. So this all will come to target variable. It's actually Y variable they are calling it features with respect to of y as a target variable what are the variable will be suggest and giving the prediction everything will be considered as a features x1 x2 x3 is a kind of variable that will be helped to predict your y variable dependent variable is also kind of target variable that will be helped to predict it but it should be depend with your input variables Examples I am giving here ice cream sales based on the climate season. So ice cream sales is a prediction variable, climate season is a dependent variable. Categorical variable is a set of variables that only you will get as output in a prediction y variable. Like an example for the car color you are going to select whether it is a red, blue, white or something. So everything is a predicted y variable but it should be in set of this one. You cannot measure more than this. Dummy variable is an another name as indicator variable. It is help to get your variable in binary values. Zeros or ones are true or false like that. Validation. The entire process of your training model is called as a validation. You have to do from the top to end. The, all the phases will be applied here. Here is an example for dependent variable and intermittent variable. So y is an independent variable and x1, x2, xn is an independent variable. Types of machine learning. Machine learning divided into three types, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, you know well about the target variable and prediction type. So all the classification and regression algorithm are come under two supervised learning. A classification problem will apply when the output variable is a categorical data such as red, blue or disease or no disease. But in a regression problem will apply when the output variable is a real value such as dollars or weights. In supervised learning you really don't know what will be the target variable. 
Clustering and association routes are an example of unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning is a combination of supervised and unsupervised learning. Autonomous car is a great example of reinforcement learning. It can learn from historical of supervised learning and applying on runtime with unsupervised learning. Please provide your valuable comments and suggestions to improve our quality in upcoming videos.